The front room was a hallowed place, not for children, if you valued your life. You would never go uninvited. We were only allowed in to clean it. The Friday night ritual of sanctification in the temple of stushness. <laughs> Guests walked in onto a bright red and orange carpet with a swirly cream and brown leaf motif. Reminders underfoot of coral seas and tropical fish. Everything of value and significance was in the front room. The best china, the bar, the gram. <laughs> Everything was embellished with crocheted doilies, armrests and headrests. The coffee table, where coffee was never served, had an elaborate crocheted, starched and sculpted white swan splayed across the glass surface where it swam effortlessly. Pictures on the wall were of the Green Lady and Christ, the unseen guest at every meal. Miniature porcelain and multicolored blown glass figurines adorned the decorative wall shelf. On one side of the chimney breast, there was the glass cabinet filled to bursting with silver plated platters, crystal and china, some of which came out at Christmas. You handled with care or you would be sent for the strap, having dented, chipped or cracked whatever took most of the partner to buy. On the other side of the chimney breast was the never a speck of dust polished wood gram with a record auto changer. This furniture styled radio and record player was big people entertainment. Mommy would play Jim Reeves. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. Precious memories and this world is not my home. Daddy would play Desmond Decker rock steady. The Israelites, Shantytown and you can get it if you really want. But they both slaved for bread, sir. One worked by day, the other all night. And the weekends were for dreams, dominoes, mutton soup on Saturday, rice and peas and chicken on Sunday. The West Indian identity was tied up in the vitality of the colours, the discipline of the ornaments placed with precision and constancy, the validation of a few choice pieces of furniture denoting measured affluence, shutting out shunning and cold welcomes. This vibrant home drew them into a world where they made the decisions. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light, take my hand, precious Lord.